my very simple fundamental answer is people who have the heart for humanity, who is not afraid of making mistakes, and who is into learning and keep learning. Even educators with degrees, if they don't learn and they just go by the textbooks, they are not able to do this job well. 83% of professors are white. Those are the people who constitute the institution. Those are the people who teach. Professors are also researchers. Those are the people who hold a pen. People who hold a pen have the power to write history. They have the power to write books. So in many ways, I think that if we can get educators to teach themselves, then they're able to engage in this sort of work. I would say that in order for us to meaningfully engage in this sort of work, we got to look beyond textbooks. Now, by that, I mean why educators have to do the job. They have to do the dirty job. Live the lives of people of color. Walk in the moccasin of people of color. But all of us here at higher ed sit in this comfy chair that we are not willing to do the job. However, we want to profess other people, this is how you should live your life. And we are the warriors of social justice. You cannot be the warriors if you have not trained yourself to bear arms, right? So the way I look at this issue is that we got to dig beyond textbooks now. Goes back to the very fundamental history of this country. When the colonies came to this land, churches shape what we had in this country the first university, Harvard University. Harvard University mirrors the teaching method in church in those early days in 1800s, and that's what we get. Have we been taught to think critically? Yeah, we have. But how well can we think critically if we are only been surrounded by people who look like us and live among people who look like us? Beyond the surface, we got to look what is printed in the text. We got to Read what is it between the text. It's just like in communication, what is being said are the messages that we can hear. But what is being unsaid is the most important thing. For educators to do this sort of work, they have to look beyond just the superficial. Now, many times when we think about social justice, we have this sort of thinking that is influenced by the 19th century imperialism of this country, that we conquered the Brown brothers, who are the Filipinos, right? So now, what do we have in higher education? Study abroad courses, that we would go to developing countries, work in Cambodia, help the villagers build their houses, and we teach them to speak English because that gives them better chances in their life. We can move beyond the traditional thought of, ooh, if I want to learn about culture, I got to go to some exotic land in Mongolia to look for that. No, we don't have to. Culture is here, culture is in this country. We live in a country that is not equal and is divided. And our efforts should go into this before we try to save other people and maybe have we asked for permission? Do they need our saving?